Yes, you may draw a card. So we're gonna use our shield to ready up Aladdin. We're gonna take some more lore. We're gonna use our shield to ready up Aladdin. <laughs> we're gonna quest and say go. <laughs> ready? Go! How's it going? I hope you've been well. Today we're gonna be playing some lore Kana on the uh, Pixelborn, I don't know what you would call it, app? Client? Anyways, we're gonna be playing the Amethyst Ruby Control deck. Uh, a lot of people are saying it is the best deck in the game right now, and I would have to agree. Uh, I'll have the list on screen and in the video description below. Uh, some of the numbers of certain cards might change from list to list, depending on whose list you look at. Uh, but this is the list that I have been playing. Uh, I was playing last night, taking it all the way from the beginning ranks, like the wood rank to the bronze rank, and uh, I don't uh, really think the ranks matter because I was playing Grandmaster people throughout the way there, but uh, throughout like 15, 20 games, I only maybe lost like three or four total, so this deck is pretty crazy. I won't talk too much about the cards right now, we can kind of go through them uh, as we play through the games because, uh, you know, not all of them come up and there's certain kind of unique situations that I feel like are better showing through gameplay rather than you know just talking about them here so let's hop into some games and uh, we'll give it a go all right we have found ourselves a game here we're going second which is all right because we're not really uh, we're not really the aggro deck we definitely don't need a doctor this early um, I kind of like the Gaston. Gaston is in the deck just because uh, there's like not really a better inkable two drop. There is um, the monkey. I'm forgetting his name for some reason. Uh, but he's kind of in the deck so that he can challenge a Simba if a Simba tries to come down and protect a like a Lilo or something. We'll just keep the Gaston, toss everything else. Hope, oh my god, too many, oh my god, too many Gastons, too many Olafs. Okay, they're on Ruby, another Ruby, okay. Um, hmm. You know what, let's slam down a Gaston into the Inkwell, and we will actually play an Olaf. Usually... I kind of save the Olafs if I draw them early, I just save them to ink so that we can get to 7. But uh, I might just be able to have a little quest off here. Because if they want to trade, it's going to take them two trades. So I think we might, yeah, we might just have a little, have a little, ooh, we got the shield, okay. The shield is cheeky, but we can't can't really use it yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ink an Olaf, slam a guest on. Um, hmm, I don't really, yeah, I, I, you know what, let's see if they double trade. Let's just see if they double trade. Cause that's, that's too lore that they get put off if they double trade. And I mean, Gaston's dying no matter who he hits, so we'll see. We might be racing. Yeah, I think we're racing. So we gotta kill the LeFou. We gotta kill the LeFou. I think we are just tossing our shield. And we're singing a song. Friends on the other side. We're gonna draw two cards. Okay. Uh, we're gonna smack the LeFou. And quest. Alright, so they are beating us in the race, but it doesn't really matter with these decks. We're both kind of playing the same deck, just with different builds. It's kind of up to who... who... Uh, draws the most most card draw spells basically <laughs> oh my god they had a second one oh my goodness and the pascal okay 
I think we are kind of pivoting into trying to get that down. I think we are going to toss this cast on into our ink well. Throw down a Rafiki and go on a quest. Or a Rafiki, Jafar. Why did I say Rafiki? Jafar's alright. It's gonna be a 5 5, so we can get a couple trades in perhaps. We might have been able to actually. Uh, should have kept that shield actually. We could have quested and then readied him up so that they can't kill him, but it's fine. Oh my goodness, they're doing the broom stuff again. I don't really play the the broom package. I kind of prefer the uh, just the Dr. Facilier on his own. He kind of does the same thing just with like any character. Okay. Uh, we'll probably die before we get to nine. So I think we gotta toss a big bad here. I think we gotta shoot the Mickey. And I think, I think we just catch up here. Cause uh, if, if our plan is to play the board clear, it doesn't really do much if uh, they're already like crushing us in lore. Cause then they just like slam down like another one drop and like finish the job. So here, maybe hopefully, finally, they're running out of resources. Maybe. Uh, so what we can do here um, they could play their board clear next turn, actually. So I think what we do is I don't want to bait it out by playing both of them. I think what we can do. Oh, they're gonna go to fourteen. Hmm, I think we just play one character, do a little quest. Aladdin takes a lore from them. He doesn't uh, give it to me, but he just like takes one from them. Okay, maybe they don't have the board clear? Or they're just like really holding on to it. Regardless, we play ours this turn. We go to eight. Play our board clear. Make sure we quest first. Nuke the board. All right, opponent, what you got? We finally found some more card draw. Okay, if we get an inkable, we can play both. Oh, that's rough. One card versus two cards, but we need the creature. Maybe we don't need the creature. Uh, maybe we don't need the creature. Let's see what we get. Okay, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll do that. We'll shoot that. And say go. All right, opponent, what you got? Now this is truly a control match. All right, they found some card draw. They're gonna spend their turn drawing a card. I think, I think we slam a, no. Cause if this lives, we can slam the, oh no, we can't even trade. They won't have anything for us to trade. I think we just draw a card. Let's draw a card. Okay, here we just chill. I was hoping we, we would draw something playable, but here we just chill. I think we inked one earlier. We definitely inked one earlier. So we might have one more in the deck. I'm not sure how many I have in the deck either. Three or four copies. 
I guess I could just look at the list on the side here. Yeah, four copies of Maleficent. Nice, we got the other board clear. I think we're just chilling. And we just do a little quest. And uh, I think we just wait. Because with uh, all this card draw, there's a good chance they just have uh, the removal spell, a board clear, their own Maleficent. Uh, they are an ink off, so we gotta, I think we just wait. We're catching up, slowly but surely. Oh, I was gonna say, why does it say they're questing for one? I got a Rafiki down, okay. Got an Elsa down. Hmm. Hmm. Don't really want them to get in for two right now. I'm okay with one though. It's, it hurts to ink the card draw. It hurts to ink the card draw, but we gotta do it. And then we're gonna nuke the Elsa. Uh, Cause if they wanna play their other Elsa, they're gonna have to pay full retail price instead of shifting it. And if they shift it, then they get like a nice juicy quest for like three or four down, which would uh, be brutal. We gotta not have that happen. There we go. They're waiting. They slammed it down for one creature. Uh, so here, I think we just play our one. Say go. We can quest and then play our doctor and then they have to find a way, they, they'll probably use another removal on the doctor because if they try to challenge that with whatever they play this turn, it'll just go back to my hand. Yeah, there's the Elsa. I think we just shoot that. Oh. Yeah, we just shoot. Pow, shooter with the Maleficent. And like I said, we forced them to play full retail price for that Elsa. They might ink something to get a Maleficent down here, which takes them off their card draw for a turn. Okay. Interesting. I would not have done that if I were you, but... That's all good. So, Dr. Facilier says, whenever one of your other characters is banished in a challenge, you get to return it to your hand. So we're just gonna trade into this Maui here, because Maleficent will die, and then we'll just get a free Maleficent back to our hand. <laughs> well, it's not free, but we still have to pay nine for it, but like, we don't have to play like um, like yellow Hades to get it out of the graveyard. Okay, they're inking some card draw. Oh my god, they're desperate. Oh, we can get in for three? Oh my god, we can get in for three. So we just get in for three here. Um, and I think we just pass. Because they have so... They have... Yeah, they have all the card draw. We don't really want to overcommit right now. We still have our own board clear. Oh my god, have they played all four copies? They've played all four copies. How many have we played? One? One. <laughs> we had to ink one too, feels bad. Hmm. I think... Here we just slam down the Aladdin and see how they respond. Cause if uh, they quest with that and play something else to give that uh, evasive. Ooh, interesting, okay. We can bounce it with our befuddle. Usually don't play this card, it usually goes into the inkwell, but for situations like this, it's actually really sweet cause we can go, see you later. Give me that lore. 
And we got our a second board clear, so I think we just passed. Now we're in the lead. They have way more card draw than us. But uh, if we use... Oh my god, they're playing the board clear for our one Aladdin. How many... Is that all of them? They played the two dragon fires. Three dragon fires, two board clears. Okay, so we only have to dodge one more single target removal. We have to... Oh my god. Yes. Okay, we are stabilizing. Oh my god, we are stabilizing. Let's go. Oh, we can do it. We found the card draw. We have all the removal spells forever. I think we just pop the Aladdin with a dragon fire. Oh, we can actually just quest here and bait out their removal. Because they can't challenge with their Aladdin now. And we are potentially questing for four next turn. There we go. That's the last dragon fire. We got one, two, three, four. That's the last dragon fire. And they have one more board clear. Two more board clears. Perhaps. Okay, so now we... Let's draw a card first. Let's draw a card first. Interesting. We could just trade into the Aladdin. And then what are we doing? Hmm. We could just trade with the Maui, actually. I think we do that. <gasps> the game glitched. Where'd my Maleficent go? Okay, I got it back. I got it back. So Maui's gonna get this Aladdin off the board, so we can quest freely. And uh, we're kind of we're kind of putting them on the back foot here. We got all the removal. We took three lore from them, one with little Aladdin uh, and two with big Aladdin. There we go, that's the last board clear. They have uh, they have one more left in the deck, I think. Yeah, one more left in the deck if they are running all three. Hmm. Here I think we... I think we just shoot the Elsa actually. I think we just shoot the Elsa and say go. If they play big Elsa, we just shoot big Elsa with the dragon fire. Because we just, we want to keep them off of questing every turn if possible. Yeah, there's Maleficent. That's fine. We played that Maleficent twice. <laughs> and But uh, she quests for two, so we kind of got to get her off the board. Jafar quests for two though, so we'll slam Jafar, so go. This is tight, this is really tight. Okay, so there's another Maleficent. I don't remember if they inked one. So now we shoot it. And we take a lore from them. <laughs> well, we don't get the lore. We just uh, remove one lore from their total. We don't steal it like Big Aladdin does. Nice. I'm just gonna trade in. Draw some cards. We need to get a quester down. They might actually run away with this here. And draw a card. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I think we slam him and slam into him and we say go. Now Maui can't quest, but uh, we basically, we can use these as single target removal spells now since we have all of them. 
Yeah, this is just a, a kill Elsa. This says kill Elsa action song. Uh, so we can't draw a card and play it. Um, yeah, we just do this. <laughs> we ink this. And we slam down our own Elsa. So you go. Little Elsa, though. Little tiny Elsa. Big Elsa be dead. Another big Elsa. Okay. Alright, opponent. You have more card draw. I understand. I understand. But guess what? I can draw a card and kill your Elsa. See ya. So we have our magic mirror. Yes, I was gonna say, I might actually just let them, they have so much uh, ink. I'm hoping they like draw another card, play another creature. Oh, okay, that's good. We'll draw, nice. So we can, because we've taken them off so much lore with these Aladdins, we can spend a turn developing our board here. Drawing the Rafiki kind of sucks, but that means we can quest, quest, trade, trade. Nice. That sucks. <laughs> we can trade into the, the Maui though. Actually the Maui, it doesn't quest, so we might not care. At this stage, you gotta. Sometimes you just gotta ignore the reckless characters. Oh god! Okay, now we uh, we quest, we shoot the board, we play our Rafiki, and say go. They kind of overextended there. We're out of board clears. We took them off so much lore though. If they don't have any more removal, we might be able to get there. If we draw our other um, uh, shield, the red shield item, we can just quest, ready up our character, and they can never uh, attack into it. Uh, so that's that's kind of what you use the, the shield for. You can like double trade. Like they're using a uh, LeFou to ready up their Maui, but you can also just use that shield item okay here comes another Elsa we can just Elsa there Elsa they don't get to quest uh, oof if we try to draw a card and it's not inkable and we can't play the Elsa I don't think we I don't think we can risk that <laughs> we can however just slam that down for next turn so we have, we have lethal on board. They have to basically remove both of our characters here. Or just the big Elsa, actually. They remove the big, yeah. There we go. They're gonna board clear their own stuff. That's the last one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they've played all four. I've played one, Two, three, four. Yeah, we've we've both like used up all our removal. What is that, Elsa? Four mana, four four vanilla. What the heck? What the heck? All right, let's draw a card. Uh, we're gonna threaten lethal with our facilier here. Let's say go. We got two chargers that can kill whatever they try to quest with. And uh, he quests for three. Yep, yeah, that's game. Good game. Wow, what a control battle of the ages. Holy. All right, we have found ourselves another game. We are going second again. But this time, uh, we do have some card draw. So I think we're just gonna get rid of everything except for the board clear and the card draw 
Uh, lately I've been keeping the Gaston because he challenges into Simba. Uh, but I mean, there's a lot of people playing this red purple. You know what, we'll keep the Gaston just in case. If anything, if we don't need him, we can at least toss him into the ink pile and play a magic mirror instead. Oh, okay, opponents on blue. Very cool, very cool. Uh, they are going to end up ramping us a little bit. I think what we're gonna do is just toss down an Olaf and start questing. Uh, usually I would save the Olaf, especially if I have this in my starting hand, because we really want to get to seven. Oh, it's blue-green. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... But the blue cards, a lot of the removal ends up ramping uh, you, um, like the Hades, and did we just ink a shield? I think we just inked a shield. Oh no, we inked the uh, the bounce spell. Okay. So Gaston doesn't even quest, so I think we're going to slam down our magic mirror here. Quest with Olaf. Say go. Alright, opponent's still slamming down these blue cards. They're gonna ramp ahead a little bit. That's fine. We're gonna draw some cards next turn. Probably ink this Maleficent. Uh, we're not gonna need it for a while. Hopefully they ramp us into uh, some of those high- Perfect. Just on- right on time. Right on time, Tiny Maleficent. Draw me a card. Thank you. Oh my god. So last game, we didn't have any of the card draw until like really late, but we were able to kind of play smart, stabilize, uh, control the board, and finally get there. Uh, but this time, we have the card draw. We, we have the mirror. We have two friends. Uh, we are in a good spot. Uh, we don't really care about them questing. We're just gonna uh, draw two cards for zero mana, which... Oh, I did not execute that properly. We're gonna draw two cards for zero mana. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna ink that one. I'm gonna play our shield. We're not gonna use the shield this turn, but we might use it after. So what the shield does is it allows you to ready up a character, uh, but they can't quest again. So what you can do is you can quest, ready, and then challenge, or you can quest, ready, and then just hang out. And that way you can protect your high lore characters, uh, so that way they can't trade in. Uh, but they're clearing the board for me right now. We're just gonna keep questing along here. Okay, Robin Hood gonna pocket them a card. That is fine. That is fine. Um, interesting. We have enough cards to get to the Facilier eventually. And this Robin is kind of a pain in the butt. So I think what we do... So we ink him. And play a Jafar, say go. Because Jafar will be able to kill the Robin Hood if Robin Hood quests. He's only evasive on the opponent's turn. Uh, so they can use Robin Hood to kill our evasive characters. Uh, but it doesn't stay evasive once they pass the turn back to us. So, Oh my god, we're going to get some ramp. Okay, they're going to ramp us to 6. We're going to be able to clear the board on our turn. I don't think it's too early for that, actually. Oh, that's actually really good. Oh, he doesn't have charge. Or wreck, rush? Rush? Rush. That's the word. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna do this. See ya. So now we're tied in lore. Uh, they just got a lot of cards sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh. Well, don't I feel dumb. 
Don't I feel dumb? Gaston can kill the Cusco, actually. Yeah, Gaston can kill the Cusco. We're okay. We are okay. Maui can also kill the Cusco. What if we just save the Maui? What if we save the Maui? Oh my goodness, we have all the Mauis. What if we just... Actually, let's slam. Let's slam a Gaston. Cause now we we have all the Mauis now. We can we can afford to play a Gaston here as well as a Maui and just get their big lore questers off the board. Cusco is so annoying. He would he would also trade with Maui because of his ability. He banishes whatever attacks him, uh, whatever kills him. Oh, get man. You are so annoying. Ugh. And he quests in for, oh my God, I kinda have to. I kinda have to. We can get both of them off the board though. We can do like that. We can use the shield. Ready up our Maui, we can go like that. And uh, we can get this Jafar into the inkwell and do a little quest. So we have to deal with this. This is going to race us down really, really quickly here. Hopefully we can find an answer. We have more ink than the blue deck somehow. Somehow, some way. Okay, here we do a quest. We get rid of this Hades. And we force the opponent to have another Hades or another, um, the one that puts the spell, that puts the creature into the inkwell. We'll probably play one of those. They've played a lot of Hades so far. Yeah, two Hades. Yep, let it go, that's the name. Let it go. See you later, Maleficent. Alright, Mad Hatter coming down. We got another shield, which we don't need. Uh, what we can do, we'll take two lore off of them here. I should have drew a card first. Uh, I think we'll... Toss down our shield and say go. So if they don't remove the Aladdins and they choose to quest with the Hatter, uh, we can just steal their lore with big Aladdin. We don't really care that they're gonna draw cards, because uh, I think we'll end up racing them down here. We just took them off of two. When you play this character, oh, I've never seen Meg. She gives something plus two power for the turn. I'm just gonna kill my Maleficent. I got a John Silver. I'm gonna make my Aladdin challenge next turn. They must challenge if able. Oh, I was planning on challenging. I was planning on challenging if able. Why, thank you, good sir. Yes, you may draw a card. I will take your lore. Please and thank you. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our shield to ready up Aladdin. We're going to take some more lore. We're going to use our shield to ready up Aladdin. <laughs> we're going to quest and say go. <laughs> Mother knows best. Oh no. Okay, so we get... We get I always wondered how that worked. If they return it to your hand, you get the characters detached. Because if they do a, a let it go on one of your shifted characters, you get two ink instead of one, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so if we do four, seven, ten, yeah, let's draw a card. Yep. Take two Laura off of them. 
What does this guy do when he quests? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it like this because we can use this now that we're like super late game. This can actually be super useful. It bounces a small character back to hand. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, the greatest top deck of all time. Oof. And we have just enough to shift. Oh my god, it feels so dirty. Oh, opponent scoops it up! Let's go! <laughs> oh, this deck is insane! Oh my goodness, that was a ton of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about uh, how to play the deck, you can drop them in the comments down below and I'll, uh, I'll answer. And uh, give the video a like if uh, you like this content. I don't, I haven't posted a Lorcana video before. This is the first one. So if you would like me to do more, uh, simply let me know with a comment or, you know, make, make number go high. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later.